This is the ZNS Network, providing radio and high-definition television services for the entire Bahamas. ZNS Network is operated by the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. It is located at Harcourt Rusty Bethel Drive, Centerville, Nassau. Our programming is designed to inform, educate, and entertain. We invite you to join us. The following is a preamble of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks and keys, heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. Now know we therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of Allens, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, and the morning edition is live. On today's show, health officials expressing concerns over an increase in COVID cases. Residents hosting a beach cleanup in the nation's second city. And DeAndre Ayton comes up short in the NBA Finals. So let's start the morning off right. Another day to change your life. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning edition. I'm LaDawn Davis. Good morning, everybody. I'm Charles Fisher. LaDawn, you sound so familiar because I heard that yesterday, day before yesterday. Uh, you get all it. my family members say, <laughs> Charles, you better change, you know. Oh, gosh. You do? Yes, yeah. we all do. We all have to change, you, you, yeah. You tell me that some days, too. You yeah, gotta you, change your ways. Yeah, you gotta change your ways. No, no, no more partying for you. No more <laughs> anything for him. Well, so I know we have a very disappointing uh, after the NBA Finals action. Well, Lord, I'm evening. telling you, I just, I'm wow. so sleepy. Wow. I wish after the show I could just go back home and sleep uh -huh. because I was up all night watching the NBA Finals. Uh -huh. Didn't get to bed till after 1 o'clock. Then I had to get right back up to get back in and mm -hmm. give this viewers of morning edition so right after today i'm going home and I'll take a good cow boy and sleep i feel so sad for deandre i mean i know that he was really banking on on winning the the extra championship the first one mm -hmm. in many years franchise last, history yeah. yeah but it was a, it was a good game they were in it they were out it they were in it so i, I had to stay up and watch it olympics Olympics I'm starts out, yeah. on Friday. We have our athletes down uh -huh. there. We'll be speaking, speaking with one of our swimmers this morning on the morning edition. But, you know, it's that time in the morning when the phones start ringing. Cling, <laughs> cling, cling. Because they want to win that special gift from Janae's Uniform Center. And let's give you what this question is today. What Spanish term the name Bahamas comes from? 502 and you can win yourself this nice string bag full of all kind of goodies, crayons, markers, sharpeners, and all in time for school. I'm going to give you a guess this morning. What does the Spanish word it comes from? And I don't want you to break up the English language and say no. something. Do I get that? Because that ain't no Spanish word. No, I don't. I don't know. We we'll have to wait till the end of the show to get that, but you can start dialing in. But Spanish term the Bahamas comes from. Now let's take it out to the streets where our Lloyd Allen is standing by with our. Wednesday morning traffic. Oh. 
Well, of course, good morning, Fisher and LaDonna. Good morning, Bahamas. It's a start to your Wednesday morning and our first look at traffic coming in from the intersection of Robinson Road and East Street. Now, already this morning, it's a good flow of traffic from multiple locations. If you need to utilize this route to get to your morning destination, you should be able to do so nice and smoothly without much delay. From police overnight, they've reported one accident, three with injury, and five persons hospitalized as a result of various traffic accidents. Around the capital, we also want to remind you of some ongoing road work. First in the area of Blake Road and West Bay Street, also Shirley Street and Village Road. At those intersections, of course, ongoing road work may create some challenges throughout your daily commute. And then finally, at the intersection of Hay Street and Market Street, the traffic light there has been down for some time. And so, of course, if you approach that area, look both ways before going across. But back here at this intersection, we do want to remind drivers of distracted driving. Now, we've had ongoing conversations with police about what people do while driving. Some of those things include driving with a cell phone, adjusting a radio dial, or even having an engaging conversation. Specifically, that cell phone use, police are advising to avoid those things while driving in order to ensure you arrive safe to your destination. That's a quick wrap-up of your Wednesday traffic report and now a look at weather. We are waking up to 82 degrees, partly sunny winds, southeast at 12 miles per hour, humidity 78%. High pressure ridge will generate moderate to fresh winds across the Bahamas today. For all areas, weather partly to mostly sunny, hot and humid with isolated showers. Or a thunderstorm in the northwest and islands, mostly sunny, hot, and breezy with a passing shower elsewhere. Your daytime high temperature today reaching about 91 degrees Fahrenheit, your overnight low 79. As we look ahead to Thursday, expect a thunderstorm in the morning, 89 in the day, 79 at night, and then on Friday, beautiful with clouds and sun, setting up a great weekend, 89 in the day, also 79 at night. The public health sector facing a critical situation in the management of COVID-19 cases as infections and deaths climb in the face of no available bed space at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Administrator Mary Walker described the hospital now in emergency mode, inundated with COVID positive cases. We are up to a capacity today of 30 plus persons in the hospital, 30 admitted, two of those persons are on ventilators, and we also have what you call persons under investigation were being assessed for COVID and right now there are currently approximately uh, eight of those persons in our emergency room right now. We are also um, challenged with regular admission beds and um, at this point in time this morning we started off the morning with about 14 persons in the emergency room also waiting for an admission bed. Meantime, the surge in COVID-19 cases is by no means limited to the capital, but the family islands, some of whom have seen a worrisome uptick in infections. Been receiving calls in the emergency department to receive patients from Eleuthera, from Bimini. Um, I'm advised that South Andros is becoming a hot spot as well, and Freeport seems to be going into another surge. So the family islands are... A, 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 experiencing um, COVID-19 cases as well. There will be no immediate legislation to replace the existing emergency COVID-19 orders set to expire on August 13th. Health Minister the Honorable Renwood Wells told reporters Tuesday that this comes despite rising COVID-19 infections that last week saw 100 new cases in just one day and deaths in the double digits. Whether we are in regard in, in this in a pandemic sort of setting, it does not preclude any sort of business, a restaurant from saying, if the emergency orders expires, listen, if you're coming into my restaurant, I want you to sanitize, you know, I want you to do a temperature te check. I want to space my chairs out a particular way inside my restaurant. The latest COVID-19 stats showing an additional 81 new cases, 55 of them right here in New Providence, 19 on Grand Bahama, 4 on Bimini and Cat Key, another 2 on Abaco and 1 on Long Island. Five of those cases have a history of travel within the last 14 days. The country's overall case count now stands at 13,685. Hospitalizations are at 83 with 70 of the patients listed as moderately ill and the remaining 13 in the intensive care unit. 
Operations at the Passport Office's University Drive headquarters expected to resume today after being closed for the past two days due to a COVID-19 outbreak. Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Darren Henfield acknowledging the closure will no doubt slow the office's busy summer period. He noted that the Passport Office is using its online platform launch several months ago. He maintains, though, that the initiative is welcomed. However, residents still have to visit the office for other services. She's an educator, career civil servant, former parliamentary secretary, and now Elma Garraway can add deputy to the governor general to her list of achievements. Chief Justice Sir Brian Marie QC administered the oath of office during a brief ceremony at the office of the governor general on East Bay Street on Tuesday. Not only is this an honor for myself, but I think it is an honor for my family, for my colleagues, whether they're in education, or in the public service. It is an honor for all those persons who would have nurtured and supported and guided my work over the various years. It is an honor for women in general of the Bahamas. After winning the first two games of the NBA Finals, DeAndre Ayton and the Phoenix Suns could not hold off Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks who won their first championship after a 50-year drought with a 106-98 win at home last night. Playing by foul trouble, Aiden finished with 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 blocks for the Suns, who at the start of the season, many did not expect them to reach this far to the finals. Phoenix had no answer for series MVP. Giannis who finished with 50 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 block shots. The Bucks wrap it up in six. The Suns were seeking their first title in franchise history. Um, everybody's down, but individually, uh, this is just the beginning. You know, um, as a young player like me and some of the guys on my team, um, you know, we, we know what it takes now, you know, and that's all I'm going off of, to be honest. I mean, nobody really expects us to even, you know, be here. Um, I know people talk about, you know, injuries with other teams and stuff like that, but at the same, at the end of the day, we playing ball. And, you know, I'm just really happy how the guys, you know, had a, a wonderful season, you know, playing together to bring us, you know, to get us where we are today. But at the same time, you know, we, we feel it, you know, there's a little bad taste in your mouth. But at the, at the end of the day, this is just the beginning, man. This is my third year and I'm already fiending. This is the most time I've ever seen on us. Um, but yeah, man, it was fun. You know, I love competing. I love the challenges, man. But I just wish I could win. But at the same time, it was fun. I learned a lot. You know, um, just with consistency, man, when it comes to this thing called competing, you can't really, you can't really can't have any mishaps, you know, at this high level. Stay close. The Morning Edition is back right after this. Everything is changing, and your favorite hardware and home improvement store is getting with the program. We Buy You Sell is rolling out its new online shopping feature. If you go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, it's a quick and easy three-step process. Step one, browse the gallery and select your item. Step two, add to cart. And step three, check out. Go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, to shop with us today. If you are a healthcare worker, thank you for fighting on the front lines against COVID-19. It is normal to feel stressed when taking care of others who don't feel well. But remember to take care of yourself. Don't forget to rest between shifts, eat healthy meals, engage in physical activity, and stay connected to family and friends. Avoid harmful coping strategies like drinking alcohol. For managers of healthcare workers, the same tips apply to you. Here's how you can help. Consistently give updates, rotate staff between high and low stress level functions, encourage work breaks, and ensure that they know where they can find help. We are here for you. ZNS is everywhere you are when you download the new ZNS app. Watch our live channel to keep up with what's going on in the nation. News updates, we've got you covered. Tune into our radio stations with just a swipe. On the road, on the go, we're here with you. 
available for download on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Residents answering the call to take part in a beach cleanup this united effort comes after one young man expressed disgust about the state of one local beach and decided to do something about it. Here's Ramiko Knowles. It was a Saturday afternoon that he decided to take his kids on a beach picnic. But when he got to the beach, he was disturbed by the amount of garbage he saw. When they arrived on the beach, we had to literally pick through the garbage to find a spot to just sit down and chill out. So it was deplorable. So I just thought like it was like, I can, in all good conscience, come out here, see this like this, and just leave it like that. The next day, he decided to take action. After I got home, I just was thinking about how we gonna get this beach cleaned up and how I could get people to rally behind it because I am only one man, you know? So. I would need help. So what I did, I just put a post on Facebook talking about it, and one or two people was like, well, organize it. The Facebook post got the attention of young men and women. Jordan Knowles organized the cleanup effort for the following Sunday. He says he was surprised by the amount of persons who showed up. I got to show respect to Mr. Mears and the H&A &A crew. They came up. They came out there talking about clutch. They thought Michael Jordan and LeBron was out there. H and A is the acronym for Hondas and Acuras, which is the type of vehicles that were loaded with garbage bags after the beach cleanup. But it doesn't stop there. He says they plan to organize more community cleanup initiatives. We are just trying to be socially aware, socially conscious, and hopefully it catch on to the point because honestly, it wasn't even about the publicity for me. The beach just needed to clean up, you know? So. This is what we are just doing right now. We're just trying to make it better for us, you know, and the future. Here's a fruit fact for you this morning. Strawberry guavas are small fruits averaging two to four centimeters and have a round to oval shape. Strawberry guavas are sweet, fruity with edible seeds that are a floral flavor reminiscent of roses and strawberries. They're available in the summer in some tropical regions. Strawberry guava trees, which could possibly be an invasive species, was found on a tree off the Tonic Williams Darling Highway right here in the Bahamas. The fruit is an excellent source of vitamin A and C that strengthens the immune system, boosts collagen production, reduces inflammation, improves brain development, and is also a good source of fiber. I don't want to know why we don't have any here. That's because Ladoni at all. Three days ago before our two swimmers make a splash at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Joanna Evans will be making her second Olympic appearance after competing in Rio in 2016. This time around, she will be swimming the 200 and 400 freestyle. A basketball program for primary school girls only being conducted on Saturday. Primary school girls from the public and private schools are being targeted for the free of charge basketball lessons. Instructor and president of Diamond Basketball Organization Terrence Maxwelli says, apart from the constant of parents, all that need to enter the program is a willingness to learn. They're going to learn the fundamentals of the game of basketball. That is teaching them how to dribble, not only right-handed if she's right-handed. She'll also be given an opportunity to work also on developing her left hand. The same will be applied for her learning how to lay the ball up with her left hand as well as her right hand. We are teaching them the, the rules of the basketball court. The girls have already learned the different positions on the court, how much seconds you have to bring in the basketball. They know that you only have five seconds to shoot a free throw. They also know already that if you're playing offense, you can only be under the basket in the zone for three seconds. And a 
as we head to the break, we take a look back at today in Bahamian history. In 1965, on the same day, a contract was signed for the construction of a produce storage building at Potter's Key. And in 1978, the Bahamas Development Bank was officially opened. Do you know that adherence is more than taking medications? It calls to you to stick to the medical regimen as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Please keep your lab appointments, as these determine the effects medications are having on your body. Follow-up doctor's appointments are necessary, as this is the time when the doctor performs a physical examination and discusses any test results and any concerns or issues you may have with your course of treatment. Sticking to prescribed diet and exercise regimens can improve medication effectiveness and contributes to overall health and well-being. Make a commitment today to be adherent to your medication regimen and practice healthy living. This message has been brought to you by the Bahamas AIDS Foundation with funding provided by PEPFAR, USAID Local Capacity Initiative Small Grant. Hi, I'm Dr. Pinder. During this global pandemic, we ask for you to be responsible. As we fight the COVID-19 virus together, we would like to encourage you to do the following. Wash your hands. Cover your mouth and nose with a flex elbow or tissue when coughing and sneezing. Practice social distancing by staying six feet apart. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. And if you must go out, wear a mask. We stay here for you. Please stay home for us. To those of you on the front line, we salute you as we continue this fight together. This message has been brought to you by the Ministry of Health in conjunction with GD Media Solutions and this television station. three to five year old children are enrolled in government operated pre-primary schools. Another 3,400 children are enrolled in 98 private pre-primary schools throughout the country. Some thanks to a $2,000 voucher costing the government $5.3 million. most about working for the Bahamas tonight is that we don't only focus on New Providence. We cover the entire Bahamas. We have a team here in the Northern Bahamas that is ready to bring you the stories, the people, and the news that matter to you. From point A to Z, we're covering hurricanes to elections and everything in between. girl at ST McPherson Junior High School, Jasmine Miller, is now a part of an elite group of students, having nabbed not one but two preferred scholarships, and is humble enough to know the value of hard work and prayer. Here's Lloyd Allen. My academic journey has been really smooth and really effective. Achieving your dreams is easier said than done, and this young scholar has proven that a little hard work does make the dream come true. Honor student Jasmine Miller recently graduated from Essie McPherson Junior High School. The ninth grader arrived as she does daily, but walked away with a number of awards and a little something extra. Jasmine succeeded in securing not just one, but two full scholarships to two of the country's leading schools. I was always a top student, always got A's. I have 3.59 was my first half of GPA. And from then, I just kept going from 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. And then, like, you know, I was always up there. Early on in the year, she says she prayed to God to fulfill her wish of attending a private school. And through hard work, it happened. I've always wanted to from a child. And I feel like since I don't feel like I'm supposed to go to CV Bethel, I feel like... I want to go to a private school. After some consideration with her parents, the decision was made for Jasmine to attend winter prep. When we went to a Menzo and she stepped onto the onto the, um, the the premises, she said, "Me, I supposed to be." In. Well, I work personally with Jasmine. Um, she can tell you uh, uh, every time there have a project to do whatever. What does I'm doing? I involve her in. Founder of Winter Prep, Lisa McCartney, says scholarships have always been a part of the school's mandate and celebrates scholarship students at the school through its recruitment initiative. 
The Million Dollar Scholarship Program is an initiative that we created um, earlier in the year to offer through kind the kind sponsorship of um, Albany $1 million in high school scholarships to deserving Bahamian students. McCartney says Jasmine was a perfect fit for the school and its diverse curriculum. We created a platform where children could apply online if they were interested in what it is that we have to offer as a school. And from our field of nearly 400 applicants, we chose 40 students. Jasmine is just one of the most amazing students I've ever had the ple pleasure of meeting. She is motivated. She's engaged. She has an exceptional character. She is creative. She he absolutely blew us away. Jasmine says while doubt is a natural part of life, she continues to reinforce the value of knowing herself and encourages others to do the same on the road to success. When I thought of this big opportunity and other kids around the Bahamas, I really thought of myself as, am I really good enough to, you know, be worthy to get this scholarship? And I said, no, 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 don't think like that because God said he's going to provide this opportunity for you. Keep your head up high, be confident, and just be yourself. It is normal to feel overwhelmed, lonely, scared, or sad during a crisis. Coping can be difficult when your daily schedule is interrupted. Drinking may feel good, but is not the best way to cope with stress. It can worsen your mental and physical health and impact your family. So how can you cope? Keep physically active, like taking a walk or dancing. Cook and eat nutritious food, including fruits and vegetables. Engage in indoor activities, like playing games and staying connected with family and friends. Meditate, encourage yourself, or enjoy music. Still feeling overwhelmed? We are here to listen. This message is brought to you by these partners. In this report, we will hear from a fixture in the sport of soccer who continues to work to build the country's reputation as a power in this sport. Here's Jay Philippe. Donnie knows most evenings you can find him at the YMCA soccer field sharing his knowledge to young soccer players and even young adults. His experience in soccer didn't begin as a coach. Donnie grew up in New Providence in a soccer family where his brothers were all elite players. He first started playing soccer for Aquinas College team as a forward. He played Sunday League for Loma's team as a goalkeeper, then moving later to the Paradise team. I played the Saturday League and the Sunday League. We used to have two leagues and also the junior boys used to play. Saturdays and um, we, we played uh, two games on Saturday actually. So we'll play in the morning and play in the evening and then play in the senior team Sundays. Donnie's first international exposure was with the Bahamas against Bermuda in 1979 as a goalie. Donnie went on to represent the Bahamas as a member of the national soccer team on multiple occasions. A feeling he says will forever be sketched in his memories. So I know one time he went to Haiti Seeing a crowd there of 10,000 fans show up to watch a game. Going in to Jamaica, you know, big football country. Um, and you're coming in as the Bahamas, you know, it's intimidating because, you know, they just feel like they, they got it on you. But we had, we had a great time. We worked hard. Um, but it's good experience. In 1981, Tony had the opportunity to play at the professional level for Sheffield United, which was an English club at the time. Unfortunately, he broke his leg at the trials and returned home. In 1982, Tony was again approached by a professional team in Scotland. After nine months there, he again returned home. He moved to Grand Bahama in 1983, where he started his own team and played for a few more years. But ever since, he's dedicated his time to coaching and passing on experience and knowledge to others. I love getting out there and um, being part of the kids and seeing them grow. 
not just kids, uh, you know, you're talking young adults, and seeing them grow, seeing how, how they appreciate um, how you're talking to them and, and expressing their interests, um, because it's an avenue to open up and, and, and have a one-on-one -on -one talk, and, and, and they want that. Donnie now spends hours with young players, encouraging and advising them not only on soccer skills, but life skills. My wife, Mary, you know, we, we're, we're like a teamwork, so uh, she has a number of um, licenses and certificates as well. And, and, and now to just give um, kids that opportunity that uh, they could, if they, if they work hard enough, um, stick in their grades, you, sports can carry you anywhere in life. And, and now we, you know, we, we have our program going where it, it's all about learning and discipline and teaching them the sport and, and not only the, the sport on the field, but the sport of life. As we continue to celebrate 48 years of independence, we pay homage to Don Knowles, an unsung hero in the community of Grand Bahama, for the impact he has had in sports. Hey, sorry, that Jay. Really sure you, know to, you know how to play soccer? No, no I know how to kick the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a history lesson this mm -hmm. morning on our Janae's trivia question, mm -hmm. and the answer is. Bahama, even though the spell with the J, the H, the J is put, uh, announced with the H, so it's Bahama, and it means shallow sea, and you were asking, oh, that's where Bahama came from. comes yes, from, so that's yeah. where the Spanish word Bahama is originated from. And who won? Who won the... Who won? Precious Ferguson is the mm. winner, and you can pick up your gift today here from the Broadcasting Corporation of Ours. I'm sleepy. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of it this morning. I'm sleepy. It was up till... Like oh. early this morning. I haven't done that since I was a teenager. And that was how many years ago? About 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to stay tuned to the ZNS Network for news as it happens, TV and radio updates throughout the day. Then you can tune into the Northern Edition and the Bahamas tonight at 7. And just before we go, we would like to send out a very special happy birthday to our security extraordinaire, Tracy Roll, who shares a birthday with our very own engineer, Neil Benjamin, and veteran broadcaster, Gerald Miller. Have a happy birthday, everyone. And that's a wrap for us this morning. I am sleepy. I'm going home. Have a great morning, everyone. <laughs>